So I am fresh back from the range with the Harbinger from V7, a custom build 308, weighing around six pounds. Incredible rifle. We'll talk a little bit more about it on GB Guns. If you missed the tabletop is a lithium aluminum alloy and uses a lot of titanium components to remain incredibly lightweight my thoughts and fears with it especially with this classic flash hider style uh, end and not an actual break was that although this thing is lighter than most AR-15s uh, is probably gonna be a beast in the shoulder that as you'll see in the video proved to not be true for our grouping test, used these four loads. 125 grain Federal, very, very lightweight. Some Spear Gold Dot 168 grain. It's kind of a wild card. Sometimes this does really well, sometimes not. Of course, the classic Federal Gold Medal Match 168 grain. And can never question Nauser 175 grain. Wait till the end to see all four groups. I'm going to experiment this time and show you the grouping in real time so that you know how quickly I shoot or don't shoot. Um, as always, it'll be done hot barrel, taking time only to stop and reload the magazine to give you an idea of how this gun will do with factory loads and a hot barrel, sort of bad conditions. This is a fluted barrel, but not a pencil barrel. Range conditions were dusk and about 35 degrees out. Let's take a look. For the multi-mag test we'll be running a variety of AR-10 mags. We've got in Gen 3 from Magpul their 10, 20, and 25 rounder. We've got an aluminum magazine from Brownells, a steel from C Products, a hex mag, and an IMI. Now keep in mind AR-10s were never mil spec so it's totally up to the manufacturer where and how that mag catch is located just as it is with the magazines let's see what it runs with multi mag will start off with the mag pole we got our 10 rounder three shots this is malaysian military surplus ammo range is fine drops free mag pole gen 3 20 rounder range is fine and the 25 rounder. Runs, drops free. Brownell's aluminum magazine. Runs and drops free. C Products steel magazine. Drops free. IMI polymer magazine. Last but not least, a hex mag. Did not drop free. Other than that, folks, this gun will run on your magazines. Out with the V7 custom rifle, we've got our target set up at 100 yards using the target camera. And we've got four loads to test going from 125 grain. 168 grains and the Nosler is the 175 grain. I've been zeroing using some old military surplus that was kind of all over the place so it'll be interesting to see where these groups hit. First up the very lightweight 125 grain Federal tactical urban rifle. Five shots at 100 yards.
So the 125 grain was kind of all over the place. Those are one inch squares, so we're looking at about a three inch by two inch. Next up will be the classic gold medal match, 168 grain, using the Sierra Mexican tip on this target. Okay, last five, buddy. So the 160 grain here match king did significantly better. We're looking about an inch across total for all five shots. Next load is the spear gold dot 168 grain. We're going for the middle target this time. That was definitely not the favorite load, opening up to about three inches wide and two inches tall. And the last load is from Nozzler RDF 175 grain. That'll be down in this corner. This isn't a good place to go for So once again, looks like Nosler brings it home for us. That's five shots, looking uh, about a quarter inch wide, maybe an inch tall, so about an MOA. Hot barrel, as always on all our tests. This V7 rifle, starting to get a bit of mirage towards the end there, but sweet shooter. So now that you've seen how this lightweight guy did, I think for a hunting application, this makes a very smart choice. 
giving you the power of 308 with the weight of your standard 556. Groups were not as good as they probably could have been. That's probably my fault more than anything. Wasn't the best lighting and it was a bit cold. But man, this is a sweet, sweet rifle and I love these components. I would love to do an AR-15 build or try out one of the AR-15s with all of this titanium and that incredible lithium aluminum alloy that makes it so lightweight. Thanks for watching.